Hello everyone, and welcome back to the How to Make a Five Nights at Freddy's Game Tutorial in Scratch. This is part six. In this episode, we will be looking at how to create secret scenes and Easter eggs. Let's get started. So the first thing I'll show you is secret screens. Secret screens are a rare occasion that happen before your night start. Let's show you how to do that. First, we'll make a backdrop for our secret screen. So here we can see I've made my secret screen. I'm going to call this Secret Screen 1. Now we need to decide when this shows up. We know that this will show up at a small occasion before a night starts. This happens during the night screen. So before we broadcast night start, we need to decide how frequently this rare screen will show. Put a broadcast underneath an if else statement. Inside the if we're going to grab an equals sign and put a pick random in the first bubble. If you want your secret screen to be a one in 10 chance, for example, all you'd have to say is pick random one through 10 and then choose a random number like five. It will then check if a random number picked one through 10 is five. If you want to make this more rare, you can say one to 20, which is a one in 20 chance. You can go all the way up to a one in 1 million chance if you want, one in 100. I'm going to say a one in 10 chance, just so that it happens a little frequently for the people that are playing. Let's actually say one in 25. I think one in 25 feels pretty good. Inside this if else, if it equals five, then what we will do is switch the backdrop to secret screen one and we'll play a special noise. To make this sound, I'll duplicate our night wind sound and I'll call it secret screen and I will reverse it and I'll slow it down. And then also put that start sound secret screen underneath. Now we'll say how long we want to stay on the secret screen. Let's say five seconds, after which we will stop all sounds. Change this if else to just an else, and then otherwise it'll just broadcast your night start. Let's see if we can get it to show up. Look at that. Fantastic, I love how that looks. So let's say you want the chance for multiple secret screens to show up. This is also easy to do. Go to your backdrops and just simply make a new secret screen. All right, as we see here, I've made th three more secret screens inside of our code. After it decides whether a secret screen will show, all we have to do is say switch backdrop to pick random, and then let's find the numbers of our secret screens. As you can see, my first secret screen is 12, and my last secret screen is 15. So 12 to 15. So I'll switch backdrop to 12 to 15. Let's set these odds back to 100% and take a look. That time it shows ugly secret screen. Rope man secret screen. Bucket boy secret screen. It will randomize every time, just as you set that up, and you can make as many secret screens as you'd like. Last thing I'll show you is how to create a 1987 custom night jump scare screen, like from the first game. So, what you'll need to do is jump to your start night button. Underneath your 1RC custom night screen, you will need to check before it broadcasts the night screen. Before it even sets the number of the night, what you'll need to do is create an if else statement. Put it inside. Everything that was in this if before will go into the else. Inside of this if, we will need to check if equals. And now we will grab where our AI levels are. So let's check our backdrop to figure out where it is. Ugly, bean chick, rope man, bucket boy, which we know goes rope man being chick ugly bucket boy so rope man being one i'm going to use 1987 as the example start night screen we will check if item three of character ai levels because item three is rope man but on our custom night screen 
rope man is in the first slot. We will check if his AI level is one. We know bean chick is next and bean chick is two. Her level is nine. Next we check ugly who we know is one, eight. And finally bucket boy who we know is four, a seven, 1987. If that's the case, we will need to broadcast a secret screen. So I'll make one final secret screen. There we go. He looks amazing. So we will have the backdrop be switched to secret screen five or your 1987 screen. And we'll grab your jump scare noise and we'll move it into the start night button. Don't forget to start your ugly jump scare sound or whichever jump scare you happen to do. You can create a brand new one for this. We're going to create a broadcast letting every other sprite know that this is happening. So above this, we'll make a broadcast called 1987 Jump Scare. And we'll let every other script know that when I receive 1987 Jump Scare, it'll stop with the scripts in the sprite, hide, and for the sprites that have clones, delete this clone. So we need the Custom Night buttons to disappear. We need the Custom Night stars to disappear. We need the custom night arrows to disappear. And I believe we have static on, so we'll need our static to disappear as well. So we'll have this play until done instead of start sound. And then we will need to either just take you to the menu or you can crash the game. If you'd like to crash the game, that's very easy. All you need to do is create a variable and we will call this crash. We will set crash to any character that isn't empty. So say you set it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then inside of a repeat until loop, you will choose to set crash to grab a join and put crash in both sides. And that will successfully crash the game once the jump scare noise is over. If you don't want to crash the game and instead you just want to send them back to the main menu, you can simply just put at the end, broadcast main menu or menu screen. Make sure that the start night button upon receiving 1987 jump scare does not have stop other scripts in the sprite. Let's test it out. One, nine, eight, and seven. Let's take a look. And there we go. It sent me right back to the menu. Again, if you were to put this crash in there, it would crash your game instead. That's all I have for this tutorial, which also ends this tutorial series. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it. And if you didn't like it, like it anyways, because I'm looking forward to seeing all your scratch games in Deku's Night Shift. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.